This is proper. This is not. Okay? The, the guy doing it wrong is doing this. The guy doing it right is doing this. The guy that's doing it wrong eventually gets to this spot, but that's a long swing. That's a multiple move. Okay? We have to be in position to launch the bat instantly, to get the bat in the zone instantly. And if we have to do this before we can do that, we're not instant, we're not set. Okay? So <clears throat> you've got to find a handset. By the way, I'm really big on keeping this forearm and this elbow joint pinched. Keep the hand at the shoulder. And now you have a really tight pivot point. Okay. Way back from the first day, the first day after I had my discovery, I talked about the, the swearing in position in court. I promised to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Later, so my left hand is up. They have you do that with your right hand, I believe, in court. But whatever it is, put it right there, and you're in good position to swing. Now, supinate the bat. Supinate the bat. Okay, don't lift the bat. Okay. All right, I'm ready for questions. Is the stride's purpose to generate more power? When to progress from no stride to stride? Best drill to work on a stride toe tap. Okay. Um, I don't know that the purpose of a stride is to get more power. I think the purpose of a stride is mostly for rhythm and flow and entitlement. Um, that being said, Paul Goldschmidt is a no strider. He was the National League MVP last year. Albert Pujols was a no strider for almost all of his career. One of the top right-handed hitters to ever play the game. Um, Jim Edmonds was a no-strider. Miguel Cabrera at times has no-strided. Shohei Otani's a no-strider. He strides to a no-stride. Let me show you a video of him. Okay? Okay? He's a no-strider. It's just that he strides, puts it down, and then coils and goes. That he needs to have a stride to be powerful. Okay? So, why do you stride? Why do you not stride? It comes down to your timing and your control. If you can hold the foot up completely off the ground, like Aaron does for the most part, and hit, that's fine. If you need to be a no strider like Paul Goldschmidt or a stride to a no strider like Shohei Otani, Nelson Cruz does the same thing, that's fine too. It's your ability to maintain the coiled, ready to burst. There's several ways of doing that. Some of them are with the foot off the ground, some of them are with the foot on the ground. <clears throat> When I give lessons, the first thing I have to get a, a player to understand, and we do it from a nose stride, is how they can generate force with no momentum. In other words, with the nose stride, I get them to stand like a statue, dead still, no movement. If they have to have momentum before they can generate any force, we've got work to do because it's not necessary. You should be able to get into a nice coiled, loaded, ready to burst position and then burst. And you can do that if you snap and tilt. You can't do it if you have to put the foot down and push. So once the player learns to organize their body in such a way from a dead statuesque standstill, they can burst and generate force. Well, now they're learning how to use the point. We introduce the stride. And as we introduce the stride, usually they lose a little bit of their ability to burst. 
And so we work on it. And some of them we fix it, no problem, they stride. Some of them they end up striding to a no stride like Shohei Otani. Some of them have decided to no stride, period. Some of them stride until they get two strikes and then they no stride. It's all about being able to control the loaded launch position so that you can burst instantly. That is what's important. What the lead leg does is not important um, other than different ways of using your lead leg to stride or to hover or to leg lift or toe tap. There's different ways of doing that. And you're gonna pick the way that allows you to control your rear leg better. Okay? Best drill to work on for start a, uh, a stride are the one-legged drills. Start with your leg, your knee up. Start with your knee up and learn to stride with your back leg. Okay? I'm holding my leg off the ground as I go forward and coil. And then when the foot has to come down, I swing. As okay? soon as the foot has to come down, I swing. I don't let it come down. I don't put it down and then swing. I hold it up as best I can, but at some point it has to come down. And that's when I swing. Once they get that feeling, then you can attempt the, the toe tap, the hover, whatever.